um, with the many scientists believe that are out there today, which is that humans are stressed. <laughs> <laughs> and why exactly do I say this? Well, let's start out by looking at this gentleman over here. Now, I named him gentleman. This gentleman's name is going to be Mr. X for the evening. Um, and Mr. X, as you can see, he's middle aged. He's <laughs>
has to do with our ability to imitate. Now, yeah. It's a very anticlimactic, but yes, we have the ability to imitate as human beings. Um, but, okay, so in 1976, a man by the name of Richard Dawkins wrote a book called The Selfish Gene, and in chapter 11, he speaks extensively about this thing that is now coined meme. Now, a meme, mm -hmm. as will be explained soon, once again, a definition for meme is a meme is an information pattern which is capable of being copied to another individual's memory, mostly by means of imitation, um, although there can be other techniques as well, um, and this is subject to select selection, to selection process. So it's something like this. It's this information that gets transferred from one person's memory or, or yeah, mind to another's. But this isn't quite the way it happens in real life. So how did they explain it? Um, oh, Richard Dawkins, as well as someone by the name of Susan Blackmore, who wrote more about memes, they, they often compare memes to genes. Um, in the sense that genes are able to replicate within ourselves, within our bodies, for those biologists out there, um, just like memes are able to be are able to replicate themselves, but from person to person, not exactly on a biological scale. So, memes are everywhere, um, and the reason why I say this is they, they literally exist all around us. We just are oblivious to them at this point. Um, and this has to do with the fact that everything we do, or everything that we have learned from someone else through information, through imitation, sorry, is a meme. If we look at different examples, we have skills, stories, inventions, and habits, the different skills that we have. My ability to work on this laptop, it just didn't happen. I wasn't born with these traits to be able to work on a laptop. I saw someone do it, and I decided to copy it, and I therefore am now able to do things like this. It's the things that we do on a daily basis, these are memes. Um, these are more examples of memes. Um, as we see, different myths or legends, like Father Christmas, unless there are still people who believe in Santa Claus, um, it is a meme, it was probably this idea of sending a copy. I'm sorry, the person has a copy. Or UFOs, for example, this idea came about somewhere, and although people claim to have seen it, we all believe it regardless. Um, then there's religion. Now, this is a very controversial topic, however, religion is also said to be a meme. Maybe not. Perhaps if I use Christianity, for example, why do we associate God with the cross because there was a story about this and now everywhere in the world this religion of Christianity or whichever religion you belong to is, is now part of a meme because this process of following your religion is being copied from one person to another. Um, then there's like the alphabet, it's changed over the years and different people have, have used the alphabet in their daily lives. CDs, we, we used to have alkies back then and now we have CDs. This idea of storing music on a round thing um, and then copying it, and, and over the years it has changed and developed and evolved. Um, and clothing and fashion and all of that, those are all memes. So, the question as to whether or not memes exist or memes make us unique is all a lie. Memes actually do exist in the animal kingdom as well. And as you can see, those are just a couple of chimpanzees chilling out and having fun. Um, but research has actually been done um, in, okay, you'll see in the background. Research has been done in the Ivory Coast, where different, uh, quite a <laughs> <laughs> Yes, for those who stomp the nuts. 